If you love high-grade Silver Age Marvel comic books, then you have come to the right place. Stick around. Hey guys, and thanks for dropping in. I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor, and I'm a comic book presser located in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And you're watching What's in the Press, the program where I show off many of the comic books that come through my office from week to week. If that sounds fun to you, why not hit that subscribe button right now? Also, let me know which of your comics you would like to have pressed and graded in the comment section below. And be sure to stick around to the very end of this video to learn how you can win some free comic book pressing and CGC grading. Okay, on with the show. All right, well, first of all, we have a rather large collection. In fact, this is another big collection of high-grade Marvel goodness. Now, these ones um, come to us from Jack out of Markham, Ontario, and uh, there's quite a bit here, so I'm just gonna get started. They're not in any particular order, but here we go. So first off, we got, we have a beautiful copy of, um, oh, ASM-6, First Lizard. Next, we have an FF49. That glare is going to drive me nuts. Here we go. FF40. That's a sweet spot right there. That's a sweet spot where the light's concerned, I think. FF49. This is not a Marvel, but, you know, whatever. It's a nice copy of House of Secrets. First Swamp Thing. Yeah, number 92. Nice copy of FF36. Yeah, I was right. 36. Copy of ASM uh, 16. And these are really nice copies, my friends. These are, these are, and you're gonna, you're noticing something here, aren't you? You're probably gonna see a trend. Uh, and I'll bring that up in a second. We got a nice copy of ASM 5, the Doctor Doom crossover. Nice copy of ASM 19. Giant size X Men number one. Yeah, you're noticing these are the inner wells. The inner CGC wells. Yes, these were all previously graded books. Um, they've all been cracked out of their uh, their slabs, and I am going to release them and work on them. They all have amazing pressable defects, which I can't wait to get working on. Here, how about a copy of Avengers number one? Would you like that? All right. A Werewolf by Night 32. Oop, there we go. And this one here is not Silver Age, but heck. Can't have a what's in the press without a ASM 300, right? We have them every week, it seems. First Punisher, an ASM 129. An ASM 50. This one here, guys, is going to grade out nice and high. It's got so many. I, I wish you could see it, but it's got tons of... I'll try to take some before and afters of this one. It's got lots of defects on the front cover, you know, on the body of the book, which are so, which responds so well to pressing. So this book is certainly going to go up. And finally, an ASM 14, a first Green Goblin. Now, again, this is, this comes from a rather large collection. There's another probably 35 books over there, but um, I'm starting with these ones. They'll be worked on this week. Next, we have some books from Rob out of Toronto. And again, these are all kind of mixed up. Uh, but we'll get started with an uh, X-Men number 100. Signed by Chris Claremont. So obviously it'll be going to CBCS, I would assume. A Hulk 340, also signed already by Mr. Todd McFarlane. Uh, there's a few copies of ASM. Oh, what? One, two, three copies of ASM 316. Nice copy of uh, 361, which will be going to CGC for the Bagley signing. In fact, I just sent one of uh, one of Rob's books down there today for the uh, Mark Bagley signature. She-Hulk number one. Amazing Spider-Man 301. And Amazing Spider-Man 299. Awesome. I love this cover. Burn 109. I scribbled over his face. <laughs> Guardian's face. Anyways, 109, first appearance of a Guardian. X-Men 103. Hulk 340, another really popular uh, McFarlane cover. That's been garnering ridiculous amounts and high grades. Uh, X-Men 137. Amazing Spider-Man 298. 
And I know we already had one, but here's another 301. And what do we got here? And then Rob also submits some Turtles books. We got uh, Ninja Turtles number seven. Which one is this one? I'm not sure what number this is. Oh, there it is. Book number 18 right here. Uh, book number 14. Book number 11. And back to X-Men again with an X-Men uh, 221. Actually a few couple of copies of these. One, two, yeah, three copies of that. Mr. Sinister. And Rob's books. We finish off with a nice copy of 244, another X-Men book that has been garnering lots of momentum in terms of its value. And that, my friends, is pretty much it for this week. I have a lot of work to do uh, this week, so I'm going to get to it. There you go. Okay, guys, well, there you have it. Do you have any questions about the pressing and grading process? If you do, feel free to ask away in the comment section below. And remember, by subscribing and leaving a comment, you are automatically entered into my 600 subscriber draw to win free pressing by me, the Comic Doctor, and grading by CGC. Thanks again, guys. Take care.